This game, the Assassin's Creed, was released to PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in 2007. Half a year later, in 2008, it was released on PC. Honestly, playing a game that is 15 years old, it's usually not a very pleasant experience. If you can run it at all on a modern computer, usually it's not very pretty or completely full with all kinds of weird sh took these people against their will. You know, something that if you buy an old game on Steam or US of today, it will just work. Are you really so naive? It's always a gamble to purchase an old game trying to run it on a modern computer with a modern OS. Well, I really wanted to play the first Assassin's Creed. I knew already before the big picture of the, how the ending would be or sort of. I mean, I played the STO collection, which I do recommend, by the way. And especially Revelations show a lot from the late life of Altair. But I had no clue of how it came to be. And I have to admit that what little we get to know about legendary Altair in Revelations, well, it just made me more intrigued. Anyhow, I bought the game on sale from Ubisoft shop, hoping to get a decent enough experience and I'll tell you all about it now. So first things first, the game started. As with many old games, the mouse and keyboard input was a bit so-so, but not too bad. The problem for me, however, is that I've only played Assassin's Creed on PlayStation. I, I mean, it's not entirely true. I did briefly try Origins on PC way back, but uh, all in all, keeping all those buttons in my head, I I just can't do it. It's it's just like I can't play shooters with controller, but obviously reverse. Keep your pinky finger there while the thumb is there. Press this for block and that for the throwing knife and don't forget to free run. No, no, it's not possible. All you who play Assassin's Creed with keyboard and the mouse, well, you probably know that something is wrong with you. Perhaps you have three hands or two heads. I, I don't know. Being a bit lazy, I couldn't just grab a controller from the shelf behind. So I googled it instead. Controller Assassin's Creed PC. Yeah, you know, Google does provide good knowledge. Oh, sometimes. I stumbled upon forum after forum listing all the issues with controller and Assassin's Creed on PC. It's simply not possible. Well, that sucks. So, I tried to hammer the keyboard a little bit more, and then I eventually just gave up. So, controller must work, or I'll just go crazy. I had this not-so-new Xbox 360 controller. It's a black thing with green light and some colored buttons and a USB cord. What still makes this controller awesome, apart from being quite cheap when I bought it, is that it has native support in Windows. Just plug the cable and Windows goes, ta-da! Now, for the good part, Ubisoft has, according to some forums, fixed the support for the Xbox controller on PC, which seems very true. You have to use your keyboard and mouse to get into your profile, but then you just pick the controller as, uh, as, as, as the controller, and then it's all happy dandy. You can even see the buttons on the top right corner showing what, well, what you can do. I think that is great, especially the colors, because when someone tells me to hit the button X, I still go for the lower one but yeah it actually worked how about that so was that the only problem with assassin's creed um, well no not not really i've played a few assassin's creed games already and some movement just sticks so imagine the surprise the first time i do a leap of faith and alte breaks his back when landing on a soft pile of hay it would seem someone packed that hay very firmly or something well after trying a few times to ensure that I actually do what is intended and that things weren't different back then, I turned once more to Google. Help! Again, this was a known issue, but this time most people seem to agree that the only thing you need to do is to turn on V-Sync. Apparently, the screen and the game and whatnot gets slightly out of sync, causing the game to believe that Altair hits the ground while still in the air and, well, anyhow, it sounds quite plausible, so I'm not going to argue about that, and above all, the solution actually worked. Imagine otherwise playing Assassin's Creed without the ability to do Leap of Faith, yeah. You don't get far, and above all, you, you, you will be pretty tired of climbing down all the time. Remember... During this era, you couldn't just drop, but it would automatically just uh, leap to the next part and stuff. It was a little bit taller than that. 
with the main issues out of the way, it was time to just play the game. And it was surprising free for a game that well. I mean, look at that body and movement. Yeah, really nice actually. Well, some faces were perhaps not the prettiest, and some movements are a bit clunky, but speak to me or speak to God. I think it's they figured choice. things out nicely. Ubisoft Montreal managed to play the to the strengths and package it, it all in a nice game that never really stepped out of its comfort zone technically, while still delivering a massive awesome experience. I have to say, I never expected myself to enjoy these games as much as I did. Assassin's Creed has an entertaining story, spots get a bit grindy after a while, but the story isn't too long and just as I started to get really tired of doing the same thing over and over again, I didn't have to do it anymore. As with the other Assassin's Creed games that I played, the story is told in a classic book format, meaning you get to know your character and your abilities. Things start with some tears, but quickly get better as you improve your abilities and gear. As you feel that you have control of things, maybe even getting a bit too strong, suddenly the world just falls apart. Then slowly we claw ourselves back into control of things and it all ends in a mighty crescendo set up for a follower. What's the meaning of this? Two of you off in a corner, whispering, plotting, nothing of the sort. We were only... Only what? What secrets are you keeping? You misunderstand. Damn assassins, they're probably here right now, watching us. Do you find this amusing? Do you? Pull off while you can. Double the patrols. Which ones? All of them. But we don't have the men. Find them. Recall our knights from the field if you must. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil much more than that. I think uh, it is for sure a game worth playing, especially as it was quite cheap in the Ubisoft store. Would that I could. I don't think anyone can truly call themselves an Assassin's Creed fan without stepping into the shoes of the legendary Altair and. On that bombshell, it's time to turn our eyes towards the future of the past. Cheers! Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. 